Hey guys, this is Valentina Palladino for Ars Technica, and today I'm here with the Lumo Run running tracker. So this is uh, one of those coaching devices. It's not a passive wearable that you can wear on your wrist uh, to track daily activity or anything like that. As you can see, you can't really wear it on your wrist at all. Um, but it's supposed to coach you into running better. So it tracks things like pace, cadence, rotation, bounce, all these things that go into your running form that could result in you either running incorrectly or running inefficiently, making you more tired more easily, or even resulting in injury if you're running really incorrectly. So I do run regularly. I'm not a hardcore runner or running marathons or anything, but I wanted to see if this little guy could help me run a little bit better. So the Luma Run is this little sensor here and it does come with a clip attachment and that's how you attach it to the waistband of your pants. So it's very tiny. The battery is supposed to last around a month, but when you're running regularly that definitely will be shortened, at least in my experience. Um, I probably got around 10 days before charging the battery again and you can see here that it charges via micro USB and this little flap is attached to the device, but it opens up so you just kind of snap it back in like that. So it fits into this little clip here and that's harder than it looks because as you can see the hole is a little bit smaller than this and yeah it's it's stretchy silicone here but for some reason it's a little bit difficult to get into the clip sometimes you kind of have to finagle it in there and really stretch it over. It's a really really like tight clip so it might be a little bit hard to get onto your waistband at first. I had never had this fall off while I was running which is great. So this is the Luma Run app. Uh, now you can have the device connected to your smartphone while you run, or you can just run without it. Um, and if you run without it, it won't use the GPS on the smartphone, obviously, because you're not connected. So you won't get a map of your route, nor will you get pace updates, but you'll get everything else. So on the home page, you'll see a start run. It'll automatically connect via Bluetooth to the Luma run and your home page is for you to start another run. And this brings in all the data from my most previous run. And they always say that my goal is cadence, which I understand based on the 10 minute test run that I did in the fir very first time that I ran with the Luma run. They recommended me to work on my cadence and get more steps per minute. So when you start a run, it'll, I'm not gonna do it right now, but it will count you down from five seconds. Then you just start running. And when you run, you'll hear this little voice kind of chime in when you're on point with your goal. So for me, if I'm running with a goal for cadence, it's gonna tell me when I'm, it'll to kind of chime in with a happy sound when I'm hitting my steps per minute mark or within the range that it sets for me. When I wasn't hitting my steps per minute, it would give me this kind of sad trombone sound, which is very sad, just because I, I knew immediately, because there's immediate feedback when you're, when you immediately like start slowing down, in my case, I heard it. So I started hearing it over and over and over again in the very first run that I did. And that was kind of disconcerting. So I knew I really had to step up my game in my next run. So let's look at the activity section where you can see all of the runs that I've recorded. So this is what will show up if my, if the Luma run was not connected to my smartphone. So it was not using, it was not collecting any GPS data. However, you'll see little maps here when it was connected to my phone because it just automatically connects to the GPS on the smartphone and it will map your runs. Now these just look like little squiggles because a lot of them that I was doing were on a treadmill. Now I contacted the representative for Lumo Run and they told me that the GPS will kick in no matter, like when you use your smartphone, no matter what. So you can't really turn that off. So you just kind of have to ignore the <laughs> squiggly graph and any kind of pace calculations because they won't be accurate. But everything else, should be accurate. So my cadence and bounce and all that kind of stuff because it can since it's attached to the back of your um, pant waistband it'll be able to see like it can you know see your form in 3D motion while you're running whether you're running outside or whether you're running in a treadmill. So here you can see there's a the little squiggly map and then down here you can see cadence, bounce, breaking, drop, and rotation. With this specific run, I was actually aiming for rotation. So I wanted to make sure that my hips were always kind of going forward and I wasn't kind of swerving to either side. And I did do a pretty good job with this, but everything else kind of fell by the wayside. So I really need to work on, you know, kind of two goals at once, if you could say that. When I was working out for cadence. After the first run, I did get slightly better with it um, because I didn't want to hear those sad trombone noises all the time. So I kind of trained myself to get a little bit better at running faster, running with my feet moving faster so I could add more steps per minute. 
Uh, so it, it's it's hard. It's not very easy because I tend not to run that way. But it, I did make a conscious effort after that, even when I wasn't running with the Luma Run. So that does say something that you know the coaching while you run while you run, even with it, when it's just small tones like that, can kind of get under your skin in a good way. Every time you start a run, you'll get some sort of pre-run tip that's related to your goal. You can watch a video. As you run, move your arms quickly to increase your leg movement. Your leg swing will naturally match the speed of your arms. So that just kind of shows you what they mean by saying rapid arm swing. And I really found these kind of recommended suggestions of these small exercises very helpful because when I run, I usually do some sort of strength training beforehand because I'm usually at the gym, but it's never anything like this, you know, high knees, front skips, but these are really helpful because they're just small things that you can do beforehand that will kind of get your body into the groove of running. So all of them have videos to show you how to do them and it kind of explains to you why it's important. So the Luma Run is $99 for the sensor and the clip. I do think it's a little bit expensive for what it is compared to something like the Move Now, which is another type of coach, and that is $79. And that will coach you with running, cycling, swimming, boxing, a couple of other different exercises and workouts. So if you're someone who likes to do a lot of different types of sports, that might be better for you. However, if you really just want to get into running better um, and more with better form, things like that, this is a really good option. So I would say that if you want to try to run a little, with a little bit better form or you maybe injured yourself running or you want to avoid that in the future, the Luma Run could definitely help you do that.